Hey guys, this is Martin for Techlog Pool, and today I'm bringing you an unboxing of the Cambridge Audio Azure 751R AV receiver. Let's get to it. I already opened the box with my handy knife. I have no idea what is inside except for uh, whatever I read on the web, but I guess that they'll be pretty accurate. Okay, so at the top we have the instruction manual. Then we have the FM and AM antennas. Then we have the remote control. We have the power cable. Next is power cable for a different country. This is for UK. We have the remote for the second zone. Here is a battery for the remote. Batteries for the main remote. This is a little adapter for the microphone. It has uh, three and a half uh, centimeter jack, and the small jack on one hand side, and a uh, RCA uh, plug on the other side. And last but not least, we have the Odyssey microphone. Okay, so that's it from the top. Actually, before we get to the AV receiver, why don't we take a closer look at these things over here? Okay, so first is the power plug for UK. It's about six feet long. The power plug for the rest of Europe. And again, six feet long. All right, this is uh, the remote. Of course, there's the power button, the analog direct, surround, stereo, information, all the other uh, buttons. Uh, it looks like a fairly, you know, usual uh, Cambridge Audio remote. All right, so here is a typical FM, oh sorry, AM antenna, and this looks like a nice FM antenna. Wow. It has a split at the end. Yeah, looks like a kind of good, good antenna, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. Uh, this is the same microphone as uh, Odyssey um, supplies all of their uh, AV receivers with, so I don't have to undo that one. And let me take a look at this small second zone remote. It's very cute, it's very tiny, like a little chocolate. Uh, basically it only has the uh, power button. Uh, the volume uh, tracks up and down, I think. Uh, the mute button, of course all of these sources, and there is a follow main button which allows you to uh, stream whatever you are having in the main zone to your second zone. Um, so that's that. Okay, and this little plug. I don't want to forget this one. Okay, yeah. It looks gold-plated, so really nice, sturdy quality. Alright, so let's put these things aside now. Let's take a look at the AV receiver. It's very heavy. It weighs approximately 17 kilograms. All right. Let's get rid of the styrofoam.
I will. This thing is a really beautiful, really nice finish, really heavy to lift. Uh, I'm gonna give you a close up of the uh, input and output at the back in a sec. All right, so this is the front of the receiver. Let's take a look at the panel and the buttons that we have here. Of course, from the left, we have the on off button, the headphones jack, uh, this is a quarter inch adapter. We have the uh, tuning plus minus for, for the tuner, uh, the stereo mode and st uh, storing. You can switch the FM or AM. Expansion, I think this is actually uh, corresponds to an expansion uh, port at the back. Of course, we have all the inputs, which are USB, a Blu-ray Blu or a DVD, video one, video two, recorder, auxiliary or TV, CD and recorder two. Then we have the uh, digitally process modes. We have the audio input type, which enables you to switch between HDMI, optical, coax, um, or the analog. We have the stereo and surround modes, which lets you switch, of course, between the stereo and surround. Picture adjustment zone two. Then we have video three or MP3 input, which is the front. It's right over here. And there we have the HDMI, um, analog, audio, left and right. We have the video, uh, of course, as video and optical. And the last one is MP3 and it's a little uh, uh, three and a half centimeter uh, jack. We have the info button. We have the 7.1 direct analog input and the analog stereo direct. And of course the volume knob, which has a very nice heft. I have to say really pleasant, pleasant feeling. It doesn't, it doesn't click. So you, so you don't know how many notches, it doesn't have any notches, it's very fluid, but very sturdy. Yeah, so this is the front, and this is the back, where from the left we have the antenna, uh, the FM and the AM, we have a, a RS-232C port for uh, home automation, we have a USB uh, port, uh, which you can use for connecting to your computer. Uh, there is an actually deck inside. We have the optical ins and outs. We have two HDMI outputs. Uh, one also uh, can, can stream um, audio from your TV back. Uh, we have HDMI inputs. We have S-Video, uh, analog video, uh, coaxial digital audio input and analog inputs. <clears throat> Uh, two more analog inputs over here. Uh, there, this is the expansion port that I, that I mentioned, and here is a small switch for switching between, uh, I mean, it turns on and off the front infrared port. Next, we have a preamp section. Uh, it's actually 2.1 for the second zone. For the second zone video, S video, and component output. Uh, of course, these are the speaker ports and uh, a whole array of uh, seven channels. We have the component inputs, uh, multi-channel analog input, and a multi-channel analog output. Uh, these over here, uh, this one is for the second zone. It's an IR emitter. Uh, these are three more emitters. These are 12 volt triggers. And here we have a infrared control and another infrared emitter input port. The last two ports are for a control bus. So if you have some more Cambridge Audio components, you can use those to control this beautiful receiver. And one more button over here, it's a on off switch. All right, guys, last I would like to conclude with a closer look at the B2 included remotes. This is the second zone remote. It's very, very thin, very light, very cheap plastic key, but probably just uh, does the job done quite well. And this is the main remote. Right. This has been 
uh, an unboxing of the Cambridge Audio Azure 751R AV receiver. Thank you for watching.